my mini review right now, my, my five day review of this phone right here, it's probably gonna be the same if not better 25 days from now. All right guys, welcome back to another video with your man Jay. So the Pixel 4a, while it is not available to the masses yet, some of us are fortunate enough to get our hands on it thanks to Google. Team Pixel, where you at? Uh, so I've been using this phone, I think this is a, this is a five day review. I guess I'll, a little mini one week review or five day review. Uh, and the phone itself has so many things about it that I like. It's, it's incredible. And you'll hear a lot of people reviewing this phone saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that this phone is 350. Well, reality is there are a ton of phones out there that cost less than 350 that are actually superb and they offer more than the Pixel uh, 4a. However, one area or let's get, let's count them off. No, there's one, two, there's just a few areas where the Pixel 4a and just Pixel devices in general are just to me a little bit better than the competition. So, Taking a look at the hardware, uh, the hardware on this thing is got a, a, a flat matte design. You can see it's got the camera with the uh, one camera up there with LED flash, uh, and you've got a fingerprint reader, and then you've got that uh, mint green button. You've got a headphone jack on the top, you know, and you've got a speaker out on the bottom. And you also have a stereo speaker system on here, which is really nice. And obviously, you see that beautiful fingerprint reader if I didn't mention it, but. Um, reality is the hardware on here, while a lot of people complain about plastic and you know, they just, oh my gosh, it's 2020, we should get rid of plastic, blah, blah, blah. Sounds good, but reality, you have to cut costs somewhere and you have to cut corners. And I don't, I'm not saying Google cut corners with this phone because it doesn't feel horrible. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like bad quality plastic. And I didn't expect it to. But I've seen some people comment on it, being, it feeling better than the Pixel 4, yada, yada, yada. I kind of disagree with that. You know, I think the Pixel 4, the, the, the way that phone is designed, I think it's beautiful. And if they would have kept that design with this phone and then just stretched the screen out, like on the Pixel 4 or whatever, it would be the same. You know, neither one of these phones have bad hardware, in my opinion. Some people say, oh, it's ugly. That's all personal preference. I like what they've done here. And I like the, the size of the phone. This is pretty much a 5.8 inch display uh, and it's full screen. Now you really can't tell too much because I have a dark wallpaper on there, but I'll change the wallpaper so you can kind of get a sense of what, you, what you're actually dealing with. Now let me get a bright wallpaper on here. Um, let's go with this one here. Let's set this. And then you can kind of see now um, how the screen really is. You've got this full screen on here and that's just a, that's a beautiful thing. So I've been rocking a black wallpaper uh, because this is a uh, POLED display or AMOLED display, I believe. Uh, and, uh, and it has fantastic battery. Now I do like using the colorful backgrounds and I haven't really seen a much difference from using a black white background from a color background. But the first thing I want to touch on outside of the hardware right away, the hardware is great. Um, but the battery life, the battery life, is absolutely fantastic. I'm able to get through a full day and pull down possibly six, seven hours of screen on time. Uh, to, I'm kind of surprised at that, man, because optimization is key. Oh, well, we have to remember that. And I did take some screenshots uh, along the way. I've been taking several screenshots, actually, uh, just a boatload of screenshots of different things. And I made sure I took some screenshots of the battery because that is important to me. I wanted to make sure that I got some screenshots. So the last screenshot that I took, I was down to 6%, um, as you can see there. And it lasted, the last time I charged it was, uh, it was really over a day. Uh, and then I had, uh, let's see here, almost seven hours of screen on time. And I'm averaging pretty much five and a half to, seven you know I, I guess that's a good way to look at it this this battery is what 3140 that lets you know optimization key and this is a 1080p display and i think google did a fantastic job just a fantastic job with this phone this this is the phone um that 
people probably some people are going to say uh this is this should have been the pixel 4 i mean it's an oled display it's 5.8 5.81 it's got the evenly surrounding bezels i guess i want to say uh and it's six gigs of ram 120 gigs of storage and I think some people still are gonna find some things to complain about, and I shouldn't, I don't mean complain, nitpick. How about that? The only thing a person could probably nitpick this phone for at this point is the processor. But in my humble opinion, this processor is great. I mean, it, this is equally matched. And I think if Google would have wanted to invest the money into changing out some future models or changing this model out, to the 765 or the 855. They could have done the 845 and I think it still uh, would have been fine. But since they went with the 730 in here, who cares? I think the only thing that people are gonna try to complain about is the processor. But the issue with that is that it works fine. There's absolutely nothing going on with this processor. I haven't had any crashes, any hiccups. I haven't had anything go wrong with this device. And I guess I'm not surprised because, well, it's Google. It's a, it's a, it's a Pixel device, so it's stock Android. Uh, and that's important to a lot of people. I, I think that once you get into um, like stock Android, you are going to find that you're, I'll spin the wallpaper back, you're going to find that the performance for stock Android is, you know, to, in my opinion, pretty much is unmatched by other phones that have skins. Uh, and you know, and, and when I say performance, I'm talking about day to day, like things that you're doing throughout your day, you shouldn't have too many problems if you have a stock Android phone. And if you do have a stock Android phone that's failing you in some areas, you know, unfortunately you need to do a reset or a reboot the phone or something like that because stock Android, the true experience of, of Android should come from a pixel device. That's no selling point that has nothing to do with the 4A. It's just period. The, Stock Android should be where you start if you're going to if you want to experience real Android, and that is just the truth. That's the truth. You 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 should want to have, you should want to know what it's supposed to be like, and then go venture off into into other things on Android, which is perfectly fine because you guys know I love the One UI, I love the new Velvet UI, I love the 60s UI, the UI I love all these different UIs. It's perfectly fine. However. I've always been a stock Android person at heart. The first Android phone, obviously, was a stock one. That's, that's what they offered, the G1. You know, it was a stock Android phone. So I'm, I'm glad that Google took this route with the, with the 4A. You've got a great screen. You've got fantastic battery. Do I even have to talk about the cameras? Do I? So briefly, I'll discuss the cameras. The cameras, um, I, I saw someone post something like, um, do you always have to take portrait shots when taking photos? And I think the, the and, and that person wasn't, you know, that's just, I think I was just scrolling through Twitter and I saw that. And you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I personally do portrait shots because I love, I mean, look at the camera system. I'm using the Sony a6100 with a 16 millimeter Sigma lens because I like that portrait effect in all the things I do. Now that I can create it and recreate it and recreate it and recreate it, that is what I like to watch. So people who have a, a good blurred background and a really sharp foreground, I'm intrigued by their videos and I think it's great. And so when I take photos, one plus is that I use, the reason I take a portrait photo first is because the great cameras on Google give you both copies. It gives it to you with and without the portrait. So I just ch choose to do portrait photos Period. I just love portrait shots. Some of them come out not so great. Some of them come out fantastic. But the cameras on here, unmatched. I don't. I don't care what anybody say. I can. I can take a selfie right now. And post it up right here in this video. I can turn on portrait. I'm doing it right here. I can turn on portrait. And I just do it right here. Take out my glasses. I had to make sure I could see. Uh, so I can. No, no kind of focus. Just take the photo, and then who can do that? Can you see that? I'll post it. I'll probably post it into the video. But this is freaking incredible, man! Like that's the front camera. There's some phones out there with rear cameras that don't have it like that. 
Now, come on, son. You gotta, you got, you guys gotta start giving credit where credit is due. And it's nothing to do with like, oh, you team pixels telling you to say that. You get some people to say that, but on the real, <laughs> the pixel cameras are the top dog, at least in this sanctuary over here. King of cameras. I'm not just saying that. Talk to people who just joined Team Pixel. There's a lot of people who just joined Team Pixel. If you just got in on Team Pixel, or if this is your first Pixel, depending on when you're watching this, don't you like the cameras? Don't you think these cameras are king of the hill? Like an overall package of what Google's offering, don't you think this is right now the best package that has cameras connected to it and a price and a, the internals and all these other things? Don't you think so? Even without a blurred background, they're even crisper. So, crisper, crispier. Yeah. So yeah, let's be honest here. These cameras, it's not a joke. If you see people posting online, they're posting all these, these selfies or just pictures of things. Um, uh, what's her name? Um, she posted a picture of her salad or whatever. I was like, gosh, man, that thing came out crisp. Uh, spectacular gadgets. She posted a picture. I was scrolling, uh, checking my inbox, and she posted a picture of her, her salad or food or whatever she was eating in a portrait shot. It was fantastic, son. I mean, the cameras cannot be touched. I hate to blur some bubbles like that. The cameras cannot be touched. That's why I don't really need to harp on this too much. I did night photos. I did a quick night video. And maybe I'll try to put that in this. It's like a couple of seconds video, but a couple, yeah, it's about 30 seconds probably, but I did it at night with this phone, like video. And it's so crisp. It's so clean. The photos I took, so crisp, so clean. It's incredible. It's incredible. You cannot deny Google of this one. You guys complain. And I say you guys, those people who did complain, you guys complained the Pixel 4 was too expensive. The Pixel 4 XL is overrated. It's, it's, we don't have no SD card. They barely get the memory options. If I'm going to be honest here, the only corner that was officially cut by Google is the processor. Everything else, folks, this is a Pixel 4a and a Pixel, this is a Pixel 4 and a Pixel 3a jammed into one body. A better looking front end. Rear end, I like the rear end of the fours better. But hey, can't have it all. And they brought the fingerprint reader and the freaking headphone jack. And not to mention stereo speakers before I get out of here. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you something, son. Check, check this out. Let me, let, me get, let me get with this real quick because I got to show you. I got to let you hear. This phone has stereo speakers, man. And just check this out. Let me, let me crank this up real quick. I'll crank the volume up. I'll find something here for you. You already know what it is. This person right here just got in on Team Team Pixel. He knows it's his first That's Pixel. Not, I got that. He Come on. Go. You hear these little speakers coming out of this phone, man? <sighs> Stereo speakers right here. Get it. I'm hot. Oh. I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to do too much. All I'm saying is, we can harp on how great the cameras are, but that's a sleeper right there. So you start checking these things off. You start checking them off. Good battery, top of the line cameras, low price, good hardware, very solid hardware. It doesn't feel cheap and bad at all. I mean, stereo speakers, headphone jack, yeah, no wireless charging, you know, no stuff like that. But at this price point, you got fast charger and you got a fast charger right in the box.
this phone, folks. This phone. And not to mention, you know, it's, it's, it should be dropping across the world pretty soon, like officially. Pre-orders are up and all this. It's sold out. So it's not just tech heads that are, you know, enjoying this phone. It's on Amazon. Sold out of Amazon. They took it off the site last time I checked. Best Buy, almost sold out. Got to go to Google now. If they're not sold out by the recording of this video. All I can say is, my mini review right now, my, my five-day review of this phone right here, is probably going to be the same, if not better, 25 days from now. You feel me? It's your man, Jay. I bought a case. Threw it on here. I got a tempered glass. Threw it on here. Combination, 10 bucks. Eight bucks or whatever. I paid like nine bucks for both of these. With three tempered glass, I'm not even going to need. You know, maybe I'll hit my screen and crack it or something, and I'll just put another one in on. But I don't really need to put a case on this phone. It just looks sexy. It's a nice little sexy phone, but I went on here and put one on. Amazon, $9.00. This sold out too. This combination sold out. That seller should give me some commission because that's one of the reasons I don't like to post sellers links in my videos because they pretty much get a slew of people to buy and then they raise the price or they stop taking orders. Mm, that's how it goes. It's your man Jay. The Pixel 4a, ah, bars. It's a fantastic phone. It is right now probably one of the best options on the smartphone game if you're in the $300 price range or so. If you gotta spend less money, you need to start looking at Xiaomi, the 9S to be particular. That 9S, it's the truth and it's like half the cost of this. So, depending on where your budget is at, I guess I could say it like this. If a person thinks that they need to get a flagship phone, here you go. And if you're Apple, Get the iPhone SE if that's your thing. I say get the 11 or the 10R over the iPhone SE. But if you just want a smaller phone, go for the iPhone SE. But on the record, once again, it's not touching this son. Not happening. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, you guys put a lid on it.